Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I wanted to show you 5 different toys that are great to stimulate your bunny's brain. These are by no means sponsored, I just really like them and wanted to share them with you. As we know, the more stimulated the bunny, the less destructive they are. By helping them solve these games, you also spend more time with them which helps to deepen your bond as well and they get a tasty treat out of it. I'll be using dried banana as a treat which I make myself and if you'd like to find out how I made it, check out my DIY healthy treats video I've made, it will be linked in a pop up above. Majority of these toys are Trixie toys which you might have heard of and I'll have all of these linked below in the description if you'd like to purchase them. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. This is a plastic snack ball by Trixie. This is one of the first logic toys I got for Snowball and it's just a simple bowl with adjustable opening to regulate the treat output. I would advise to put quite a few treats in there to increase the chance of them falling out when your bunny moves it. I've noticed that dried banana doesn't work quite well with this as it's too chunky to fall out easily so I recommend using rabbit nuggets instead. Just make sure if you do use them as treats you also add less to the normal diet as nuggets should be given in small amounts. The aim of this toy is for a bunny to roll the ball around the floor with their nose or paws in order to get the treat out. This is a great beginner's toy to get your bunny used to this sort of toys. You can help them out initially by rolling the ball for them to release the treat so they understand what is it that they have to do to get the treat. Moving on, this is another toy that I got initially and it's a 3-in-1 teach and treat toy by Living World with 3 levels of difficulty plus some extra levels. What I like about this one is the diversity of various levels that won't become repetitive for your bunnies. For level 1, which is a beginner level, you need to insert the center button and hide some treats in the holes, then insert the disc in a tray opening. Your bunny has to push around the disc to find hidden treats. You can vary this level by hiding the treats in fewer holes once they understand how it works. Help them out by moving the disc yourself at the beginning to reveal the treats. For intermediate level 2, you replace the disc with knobs that cover the holes with hidden treats. Your bunny has to lift the knobs and find those treats. To start, insert some hay at the top of the knobs so that your bunny is more willing to lift them. You can make it more interesting by varying the number and location of knobs used each time. For a final advanced level 3, you swap out the center button for a center guard in the middle. You need to flip up the opening of it in order to slide in the knobs. You can use as many as you want, there's 4 knobs in total. Like with level 2, hide the treats under the knobs and close the flap at the center guard to lock the knobs in. Your bunny won't be able to lift the knobs this time, instead they will have to slide them around the center to get the treats. To help them understand, you can again place some hay at the top of the knobs if you wish. For bonus expert levels, you can teach your bunny to return the knobs to a box and place the knobs back into the holes in a tray. This toy is Snack Cubes by Trixie as well. It's essentially a block of wood with three cube compartments that can be opened by pulling on the attached robes. This comes with two levels of difficulty. Level 1 entails placing the toy on its side and your bunny to pull on the robes of the block compartment that's directly in front of them to find the treat hidden inside. Make sure your bunny sees when you put the treat in so they know they have to get it. With level 2, you can change the position of the block by placing it upright so that the bunny has to pull the rope upwards and lift the cube out instead. This is a great toy to further expand on the intermediate level from the other toys. This is a flipboard by Trixie and it's a strategy game very similar to the teach and treat from Living World. However, with this toy, each game element can be used together rather than separately as we saw in teach and treat. It consists of three elements, each with increasing difficulty. You can begin with the sliding covers and if you already played the teach and treat level 1 and 3 with your bunny, it's very similar so your bunny might find it easier straight away. There are 3 hollows with the treat in and 2 covers which your bunnies have to slide in order to get the treat. You can adjust the covers to regulate the view of the hollows and vast the difficulty at finding the treat. You can start out by covering half of the hole and decreasing that view as your bunny improves. This next element is also similar to teacher and treat level 2 and it involves lids that have to be lifted to reveal the treat in the hollows. Start off with just one lid and work your way up to using both. Your bunny has to lift the lid up with the mouth or paws to get a tasty reward. The final element of the game is completely new and that's why I got the toy. It requires your bunny to open the flap to get the treat but in order to do so they have to open the lever first which will open the flap. Like with the lids element, start off by using only one flap. To begin with, show your bunny that by opening the lever, the flap will open and soon enough they will catch on. 
Once your bunny knows how to use each element separately, you can create a strategy puzzle by incorporating all elements of the game at the same time. I would suggest to put the treats in only one hollow of each element to maximize the difficulty. This final toy I wanted to show you is actually a dog activity, but rabbits are just as smart as dogs and it will be a great game for them as well. It's from Trixie and it's a turn around strategy game. The aim of this game is for a bunny to turn the beaker around with the nose or paws so that the treats hidden inside fall out. I recommend using the nuggets as treats for this toy as well. The toy contains 3 beakers and 2 different sizes of lids for each one to increase the difficulty. To start off with, use only one beaker without the lid to help your bunny grasp the purpose of the game. Snowball still hasn't really understood how it works yet, but I wanted to show you anyways. At the beginning, turn the beaker yourself until the treat falls out for your bunny and they realize where the treat is coming from. Once they know and start to touch and try to turn it, empty the beaker for them as a reward for trying to turn it around. Progressively try to reduce the amount of help you offer them by tilting the beaker less. Once they can turn the beaker around completely by themselves, put the lid with one hole on the beaker to raise the difficulty. When they're ready to move on to the next level, you can either introduce more beakers with one hole lids or swap out the lid with three small holes for the beaker you are using. Gradually introduce the difficulty by modifying the number of beakers used and changing the lids to the small three holes one. Once they master the game, they'll be able to play with all beakers and the lids with small holes. This game is the hardest of all and will require more time for your bunny to fully master it, but it will provide plenty of brain stimulation. With all these toys mentioned, never leave your bunny to play unsupervised as it's a joint activity for you and your bunny to enjoy. Supervision will also reduce the chances of your bunny trying to destroy and chew the toys so that you can enjoy the toys for a long time. That's all the toys I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel encouraged to buy these types of toys for your bunnies. If you'd like to purchase the ones I mentioned, they're linked in the description down below. Follow us on Instagram at snowythebunny14 where I'll be posting some weekly bunny tips and facts and for really cute pictures and videos of Snowball, please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!